Hello everyone, I am Barkha from InShortTech in Webinar. Today in this video, I am going to explain through a Postman demo how to use InShortTech Claims, Messages and eDocs Downloads API. With the help of this API, you can extract data from claim downloads in JSON format and also extract images embedded inside the claim files. Firstly, let me show you the claim XML file in which you can see all the values and their elements. So as you can see, this is request unique ID, transaction response date, message status code, policy number, line of business code, NAIC code, policy contract effective date, policy contract expiry date, claim status code, etc. With our API, you can easily extract this data in JSON format. To start with the process, go to developer.winshotech.com. Now, let's look at the last API, which is claims, messages and eDocs API. You can log in with Gmail or LinkedIn. I'm logging in with Google. After that, you need to click on the subscriptions and we will click on claims messages and eDocs API we will download the postman collection as you can see we have downloaded the postman collection we are going to the postman application right now we will import the downloaded postman collection after clicking on it you will see there are two endpoints the first one is conversion to json this endpoint is used to convert claims and accord xml message files to simple to understand json output since the files can also contain images of receipts or bills for example json output also contains a unique attachment id for each attachment present in the claims or accord xml download file this ID is used to pull attachment file as I will demo shortly. Now let's click on the body tab and you can see there are two parameters. Here you can upload the three types of files to convert to JSON, claims, activity and alert message file. Here I am uploading a claim download file. In the contents there are sometimes a code coded values. Replace code. Parameter is relevant to these kind of values. If you enter true rather than false in the replace code, you will be able to see both the code and the complete descriptive value of the code. Let's click on the send button. The output is generated. So in the output, this is the converted JSON. These are the keys and their values. Similarly, you can see the transaction ID, transaction response state, request unique ID, message status code, NAIC code, policy contract effective date, policy contract expiry date, claim status code, etc. For the demo of the attachment endpoint, let me upload an XML file that has an eDoc embedded inside it. I have an alert file here which has an attachment in it. So I'm going to use that it to convert it to JSON first and I will demo how attachments can be extracted. I am uploading the alert file now. If you scroll to the last you will see the attachment id also you need to copy this transaction id and the attachment id for the next endpoint to get the attachment the next endpoint we have is the pull attachment you need to copy the transaction id and the attachment id from the last endpoint here i am pasting the transaction id and the attachment id also i 
and the next parameter we have is to delete after fetch enter true if you want to download the attachment once and then remove it from our server enter false if you want to download the attachment file more than once i am failing in false for now click on the send button now all you have to do is click on the save response and save a file with the name with dot zip extension now extract the zip and let me open the file contained in it and you will see this is an attached PDF this is how the attachments can be extracted your programmers can write the code to save the zip and extract the file programmatically or we can assist with the same as well kindly note that it is a dummy pdf only to demo the edoc extraction in real life you will not see even short tech logo you will see the actual logo of the carrier agency or agency in the pdf so you saw how our claim messages and edocs api can be useful to extract the contained messages i hope this video was useful i will be back soon with another video for any assistance regarding AL3 Accord Forms, Accord XML or any PNC insurance project, write to us at contact at the rate